All right, ladies, come here. Like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see how these piggly wigglies like a turnip. You ready? All right, guys. Hey, come here. Don't bite me. Turn it. You like that? Oh, oh my God. Well, he took it. <laughs> uh, took it over there and munching on it. Oh, he said, that's all mine. You're not having any of this. Go over there. It's over there. Here, you know what? I think I have a tortilla for Buckeye here. Here, Buckeye. Buckeye. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? Where are you going? Here. You silly pig. Hey, look at that on the ground. What is that? There you go. There you go, man. He just <laughs> sucked it right up. <laughs> there are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? I'll give you the answer in just a minute. Goats like to uh, browse. They don't like to graze, which is eating grass, you know, on the real close to the dirt. They like to browse on higher stuff. Um, I guess as an example, I can show you these weeds, bushes, they're cut off right here. Cut, cut, cut. That's where the goats have come by and just eaten off the tops. You can see all, all, all of my tall weeds have little places on them where the goats have eaten off the top. So this place looks good for goats. And it is, it's still good for goats, but they've eaten a lot of the tops off of a lot of this. So I'm thinking they could uh, enjoy or use a fresh area. And oh, look at that. Now he, he, he is fixed. He is a weather, but sometimes the instinct still kicks in. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So, uh, anyway, what I was saying, where Carpenter was, and where I have a, a birthing stall with a little um, fenced-in area for the babies when they come, for pigs or goats, I've kept that closed. Um, no real reason. I, I closed it off because the goats were sleeping in both stalls and, and soiling both stalls when they, I really didn't want them to. But, I can close off that other stall and leave the little um fenced in pasture area open for them and those weeds are super tall they're they're totally cool for ghosts to go in there and just start chowing down on so i think i'm going to open that up for them right now see and see if they like that Some more area for you to come into And they went right in there and started chowing down, so I think it's a good thing. <laughs> they, they think they're in heaven right there. Isn't that weird? They got this whole pasture of weeds, but hey, some fresh weeds right here. Let's go in there and chow. Whatever floats their boat, huh? Look at them. <laughs> and it made JoJo quiet for a minute. Oh my gosh. So that's just amazing because this whole area is just covered with weeds. And they prefer this stuff that hasn't been eaten yet. Man, this place is like, I don't know, perfect food for these guys because the goats are in here just chowing down and then the chickens followed. All the chickens came in here. I'm like, whatever. That's awesome. <laughs> Get them in there, man. <laughs> They're just chewing away, man. They don't stop. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness man I might have to do that every year make this a fall treat let's close that place up for a couple months and boom that's fun So the guinea with the bad leg, she always stays in this pig pen right here. She can't get out. Um, I think she could fly. I don't know why she couldn't, but she can't get that push, that lift to uh, get off the ground because she has a bad leg. The other two go off exploring. I don't see them right now, but the one that stays here in, in the pen, she is right in here. I don't know, she should be right in there. Maybe you can see her face. She's in there, you can see her feathers. So she's hidden pretty good. She doesn't want to be disturbed, so I'm not gonna disturb her. She may be on some eggs, I don't know. I don't wanna disturb her to find out. So anyways, I think they're safe in here. That's a gimp uh, guinea and nothing has gotten to her. So nothing comes in here. Uh, but the other two go off exploring. I don't know where they are. They usually come back at night. I do throw some uh, scratch corn in here at night and they do chow down on that. So they've gotten used to that and the, they come home to that. Thank you, what do you have to say about all that? Huh? Well, that's what I thought. The guineas and chickens used to roam around together, sleep together, play together and fight together. They separated themselves but when they were together, the guineas would come out into the yard during the day and the chickens would follow. And they would do that by, all of them would roost on top of this run here and then they would just come over the run and jump off into the yard. They got up onto, see that cat right there? Oh, right there. I don't know if you saw her do that or him do that. <laughs> um, they would use the pallets jump on them then jump up here the chickens would <clears throat> excuse me so then they would get into the yard and they wouldn't have a way back into the pasture and when they're in the pasture they have a way into this run and then into their coop so they were out here uh, fending for themselves didn't have a way back in so I put up a ramp and it was a a big old long ramp that stretched from the fence into the yard. It was just a temporary thing, but just to help them get back in. Now, Banky here is demonstrating. I have changed the design of the ramp. It's the same ramp, but now it goes parallel with the fence so that it isn't way out in the yard. We don't have to move it every time we mow. This and that, this and that. So the chickens and the cat now all use this. I hope no wild animal figures it out but that's just something i have to deal with so what i did was i took a rebar one half inch rebar and just put it through this post it goes all the way out to here and I just rested this on it so it's easy to remove i can just take it off put it away or do whatever i want to to it on the bottom i put one more piece of rebar right here just to stabilize it against the fence so it doesn't come out Seems to be doing a wonderful job, but I just wanted you to know the changes I've made. Ow, cat. Cat, what you doing? Oftentimes, I go back to the bucks and they need water, uh, goat food, and hay. Uh, so I only have two hands and it's hard carrying all that stuff. Inev or inevitably the the hay will get into the water or the goat food will spill whatever it's just all over the place so <laughs> took me forever to realize this and so silly because it's super simple but the food can go on the bucket like this and then you just carry the bucket it was so simple. 
and that freed up an additional hand. See? <laughs> it's the little things, you know. Just the little things that get me excited. Well, Meadow and her kids, guess where they are? Yes, that's right. They're in that little uh, pen that I opened up. They have not left. They are chowing down on weeds that they think are different than the weeds in their pen. <laughs> but, as long as they're happy, you know what I mean? Silly willy goats. Okay, when they hear this, they're coming running. Uh oh, hear that? <laughs> What's wrong with you, chicken? It's not for you. I'm surprised you're not running. Luke, he's here first. Here they come. Come on. Look, <laughs> she's painting already. <laughs> painting goods are funny. They get excited and want to move it. It's the worst uh, self defense mechanism ever. I have no clue how anybody expects it to work. You don't act or fake dead you just faint and they can't get away at all from the predator so it's the weirdest thing there they are <laughs> how are you guys doing today so I walked into the house yesterday uh, after feeding the bucks here and the, my daughter came and greeted me and the first thing she said was, man, you smell like the, the bucks. I can't even smell them. I mean, my nose has always been bad, but uh, I, I, there are people that tell me horror stories that it's just the worst smell on the planet. But uh, my wife and daughter have both said that these guys don't smell bad. That they smell like um, old soap or even stale root beer, stuff like that. I don't smell anything. It's a good thing that I have, uh, I guess, bad sinuses. Because I have heard some goats, some bucks are bad. <laughs> look, 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 look. See, he, smell, he smells a... Uh, a doe. <laughs> they have scent glands right in their upper lip and they lift up their lip and they can take it in. You know a doe's over there, don't you? <laughs> so that's that's a good sign because it is um, Kubo's turn this year. So we'll see what happens. Yes! <laughs> so in here in the goat pen, that's where the chickens lay their eggs. So, I have three eggs today. What are you doing? I washed off my fingers. <laughs> Chicken poop. <laughs> Baby, there's a jumping spider on the hose. Why, where did it come from? Where? It's... Oh, hanging? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's coming up. 
It's fall. All these spiders are coming out to get all these bugs. Let's see if I can feed one here. But yeah, these garden spiders leave egg sacs all over the place. So the next year, we got all kinds of spiders. Okay, see, there's one right here. Let's see if it, and it's eating something too, so it might not eat this. Ready? Let's try it. Oh, oh, it hung on to me and I lost it. Dang it. All right. Take Nabbit. Sorry, I was going to show you, but I messed it up. The answer to how many didn't is 10. Do you understand it? If there are 30 cows in a field and 20 of them ate chickens, <clears throat> that means 10 of them did not. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? Hey, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to continue being a part of all the adventures and stories that happen on Rubber Soul Farm. I hope we can spend more time together on the farm, but until then, enjoy your animals and take care of yourselves.